everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro in just a moment. I'm Mike Emrick, and tonight, even though it's a team sport and people are seated in the stands right now, thrilled to watch a team play another team, they are thinking about one particular player. It's hard not to think about this guy because he's so dominant on the ice. But what's it like to be him? Well, you know the responsibility, Doc, and that comes with a burden, so to speak. But when you talk to him, he certainly relishes in the role that he has. And whether you're a star player or a role player, you have to do two things. You have to accept and execute, and he's able to do it all regardless of the stage. And now we turn to the last lines of defense. The goalies gave his team a chance to win last time, so he's out there this time. He's had pretty good focus lately. His numbers have gotten better and better for the Flames. The referee has checked. The goal lights work. Let's see if anybody can light them. The opening faceoff has gotten us underway here. The Whalers, with that win in their last game, keeps the W train on the tracks. This team knows how to win. Seattle's continuing on in their own end. Can make a play from the corner. A one-timer blocked. Calgary is along the wing at center ice. Dogged determination there by Hamini. Is able to move on in. What a ripper! Directing that one to Goudreau. Terrific determination by Hamini. Gets that one on a cross. Stole that pass away in his own end. And now, after that period of time, we get the whistle and the penalty call. Seattle's got a minor for slashing. Oh, look at the reaction of the puck carrier. He is in some pain. That's a slash. The Flames have practiced the power play feverishly this week. Let's see if it pays off. Chasing the game is a losing proposition night after night. You get on the board first, you win way more than you lose. A power play can give you that advantage. To Nash. And he dumps it in. Looking to Kachuk. Leads that charge into the zone. Here he comes, up high and clear. Toward the net, and ring more bells on that one, one after another. He was in control on both of those saves. The Whalers shoot it back out. Got some time to check the clock and prepare to defend again. Slid to Valamaki. Snapping a pass to Kachuk. Around it again. Using the point. Great glove grab. Spend 10 minutes after the game walking your car in the rain. Don't forget that we have a new parking area located beneath the stadium. Saros has been put to work in this game. He was really up to the task on that spectacular save he made. Under six minutes play. Still scoreless. Solid clean win. Calgary's power play could have made a big difference, but did not. Grab that pass in the neutral zone. Shoots. Strong shooter against a strong goaltender, and the guy with the trapper won. The Flames have had an excellent last 10 games, and they're full of confidence. They were telling us this morning, even though their opponents have had an excellent last 10 games as well, they feel they're the better team. Chip to Goudreau. Defensive gem with the stick. The Whalers skated up on the side. Really good cut of the pass. Trying to go to Lindholm. Can start the attack going in the zone. Shoots one. Wonderful stop. And freezes play for the whistle.
Seattle's had an aggressive mindset throughout these last 10 games. They've forechecked extremely well. They've been aggressive and on the body. We'll see if they can impose their will on their opponent, who's played much the same way over their last 10. Wonder. Score! It's off somebody in front. No problem. It's a good goal. Once you score one, try and get another. Push them back on their heels. They've got one. Go get two. Some shots, only one goal. A lot of opportunities. Love the mindset of getting pucks and people to the net. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. Strong wrister. A good stick stop. Mishandled thanks to the roadblock. Puck loose. Hangs on to that one for a stoppage in play. Well, that's not challenging in the least. The goaltender's able to make the stop. He's got a clean line to see it. There's no challenge there. A little past halfway here in the first. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's 1-0. Snaps one. You can almost count that one, but no, what a save. Laid on to Hoffman. Takes that pass. Pad save. Ooh, hard one there. Pitching it to Froli. Puck gathered in behind the net. He's got that pass at the point. From the outside, he scores! That's his first after a long wait. You get the lead, you want to pin the lead down. You want to give yourself the opportunity to spread the lead out. But they don't. They give up the tying goal. And now we're back to even. And they take that neutral zone face off. Gathered up by Hoffman. Puck is thrown to Marner. Around through the corner. And a save! He imposed his will. He kicked it along out of the scrum. Carries it on in from center. Around through the corner. Passed in the corner to Nordstrom. Good intercept in his own end. Shoots one. Save! Hangs on to that one, and he'll see a face-off right here. I don't know how much of this puck he stopped, guys, but it was just enough to keep it out of the net. Over five minutes remaining, and so it is one to one. The puck's dropped, and that's a great job tying the man up on that face-off. Skill play by Brody. Moving it to Gore. Propelled to Nash. Seeks the corner. Piped in the slot. And decides to just cover it up and get the whistle. The Flames are starting to be concerned with him here. Not only hasn't he had a point in a number of games, but he's not even creating any chances. That becomes the real red flag. Calgary's prevailed on another faceoff. The Flames have it along the side at mid-ice. That's a good defensive stick there. That move not too slick there. That pass along the boards. Enormous hit. He's crushed. 
Lindholm's going to have to pick himself up after that one. He got steamrolled. They've clearly got the target on him. Pearson's eyes were as big as saucers. He sees the opponent with his head down, and he steps up for a huge hit. Good job on the draw. The Whalers with a neutral zone possession along the way. Puts one on. He gets that squeeze to those pads and plays stop. Hoffman scoreless streaks reaching epic proportions here. And you can see it on his face. He's wearing this donut really heavily. He doesn't feel like he's been contributing to his team because nothing gets on the board. Pass attempt to Backlund. Shoots. Oh, what a stop. That was a good challenge, better stop. The Weathers have been hoping for a streak like this from him for some time, but how could they imagine it would go on for this long? Another excellent night adding to this lengthy point scoring streak. They win it. On to Fleur. Took that away in his own zone. In the first period. They will get a breather shortly, but what'll happen next? Just great positional play. Locks on that to Fleur. Tip to the net. Score! Not much time left, but enough for that one. You fight so long in a tied game. Now you've got the game-breaking goal. What do you do with it? I think you attack. You try to get another one. Or at the very least, you don't let your opponent breathe. The Whalers now have a one-goal lead in the first period. Perhaps they can build on this and carry something sizable to the dressing room. The Flames control from the neutral zone. Monaghan slashed. Ooh, that's going to be a penalty. Seattle's minor penalty is for slashing. He's making like Paul Bunyan out there. That's a two-minute slash. The first period has come to an end. We're here in a tight game. These two teams are separated by just a goal. With hot food and ice-cold beverages, now's your chance to join us at one of our many concession stands located throughout the stadium. The difference in the game is just one goal, and it came late in that period. Will it springboard to something more in the second? We'll see, but for now, we go to break. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What stuck out for you? The Flames are down only by one, Doc, and they're lucky. The way they turned over the puck in that first period, this could easily be a three or four goal deficit. Calgary's power play gets a chance to swing into operation at the start of this period. Slid to Goudreau. Right to the point. Snapped out of the air. that face off from the tie up the help came right in that catching glove good work chewed up more time and that penalty kill by getting rid of it there the flames continue on in their own end a hit that can make you mad oh he's been looking for that hit all night got 
got it at the point. Marvelous save. A great chance was no chance. That shooter might want to check his stick if that's all that he's got in the arsenal. It's not going to score very often. Nice face-off win. A backhand shot. Turned aside off the pad. Calgary's continuing to probe up the wing. Let's it go. Point blank save. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Must get it out. The Flames' power play let them down at a key point. Chip to point. Gives it over to the point. Gliding behind the net. And now the whistle signals stoppage of play and will get the penalty. Calgary's two-minute penalty is a minor, and the call is hooking. This was okay about ten years ago. Not anymore. That's a hooking call. The Whalers are going on their first power play opportunity of the game. It's a great opportunity for them on their first power play. Get the puck to the point, get it to the net, crowd the net for rebounds. It's dumped in. The Whalers lug that along in their own end. Laid on to Ajo. Great stick there. He finally got it out of there. Lost the puck, just couldn't get by. Left wing pass to point. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Puck covered, whistle blown. Oh, you know he's happy, guys. He's sitting there on the bench. He's got a couple of goals in his back pocket already. But you know he's thinking about number three. What an achievement that would be to bang in one more. Okay, they win the draw. Nicely received at the point. Hammers one. Great save. And he holds on, and the whistle stops playing. A little over four minutes have passed. And it is two to one, the score in this one. They won that draw. Intercepted that one in an important place. They continue to work away. Terrific poke check by Hoffman. To Fleur. Two goals so far, Doc. He's out there vying for the third one to give him the hat trick. Oh, a great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. The goaltender shuts that one down on a superb opportunity. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. Defensive zone win. Good keep at the line. More attack coming. It'll come free, but not without a lot of work. Scooped up by Backlund. The Flames move toward the neutral zone. Around through the corner. Shutout positioning by Fleury. And now it's directed to Hughes. Pitching this one to point. Using the point. He's got it. Drives it. Save there. He hangs on and gets the whistle. Seattle's quick on the draw. Pucks loose. The roadblock got in the way. Superb stand-up block. Propelled to Giordano. Calgary's up the wing, settling things. This one being contested on the boards. He's got that point pass. Big drive! Blockered away. Kicked to Ajo. Passing one off now to Marner. 
The Whalers arrive between the blue lines. Puck sails out of play, and it's in the stands. Saros is either brave or not very smart. That is an unbelievably hard slap shot by one of the league's hardest shooters. Critical face-off win at that point. Took it up the boards and holds. They score! Two straight goals. With the goal scorer right in front, it was tough for the goaltender to pick up the shot off the backhand. Good work to get into the open to receive the pass, but that's a beauty of a dish that opens up the pass lane, gives him time to shoot the puck. Seattle's had the puck a lot here in the second period, and it's shown they've gotten a lead now by two. And they've won the faceoff. Seattle's along the wing at center ice. Puts one on. Save! Dropped and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. What a tremendous hit. I saw that play coming from a mile away. Wonderful stop. Larson's going to learn really quick that you cannot skate around the ice with your head down. You got players looking to knock you into the third row. He's got a defensive zone win. The Flames controlling play now in their own end. Tries to get it on net. Got a piece of that one. Directing that one to Nash. Possession moves straight up to Gore. Passes to the slot. He scores! Three straight goals. area of the ice you got to get rid of that puck quickly and he did good air time on this pass flat when it lands and the shooter has a walk in the whalers have a big advantage in time of possession and it shows in the score they win the draw and will now set up an attack Forcing attention in deep. In front. Pass to the slot. That's a great deflection there. Good stick. A collision. Score! He's got his second. when you have pressure, lots of zone time, you're going to get rewarded, and they were with a big-time goal. He doesn't even move. Once he drops into the butterfly, you're certain he's got the net covered. He just doesn't. Seattle's been able to build a huge lead based on having the puck more off. A bit over five minutes remaining in the period. You can see momentum in this game. It has shifted, and it is expanding even more. The advantage is four goals. Knocked off the puck. On the Hannafin. Time of the goal. 14 minutes. Sends to the point. A long scorcher. Seattle's been able to execute the game plan perfectly. They've been fast, they've been physical, and the coaching staff has had lots of back pats tonight. Never satisfied, never take your foot off the gas pedal. He's got two goals now. He better be thinking about getting number three.
good face-off win. Just couldn't make it. In the slot. Hoffman's tripped and a penalty should be coming. The Flames have been handed a minor penalty for tripping. Oh, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. The Whalers' power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Well, you're not going to get an endless supply of power plays, but they get another one here. See if they can punch through. Wonderful save. What skill by both Coley and Shooter. Now that's a timely save. A beautiful one. Back to the point. Picked off. The Flames want to generate something up the wing. Fires a shot. A good stick stop. Steps in from the neutral zone. Can he make him chase it? Long pass ahead, and he's got it on his stick. Back to the point. In front! A tremendous glove save. Looking to Hughes. Takes that pass from the other point man. Shot! Terrific point blank save. Pucks loose, denied by the roadblock. And it's flown back in, and players spill over the boards. Calgary's gotten us back even. They've killed the penalty. And the referee's whistle has stopped playing. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Saros has been under siege almost the entire night, but he has stopped just about everything thrown his way. His team's leading this game as a result of his brilliant play and some timely goals. And that one went offside. They've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Oh, that was close. That was a dangerous chance, but unfortunately, we don't use soccer nets in hockey. Two periods have been played. And so, as we think back through the first two, we think ahead toward the third. Willamette's Recycling is a proud sponsor of tonight's game. Willamette's Recycling recycles enough paper to save more than... Calgary suffering in net... Probably their whole team play needs to be re-examined during this intermission, but the goaltenders had a rough night. Here's an example as we go to break. Seattle's had a great game. It shows on the scoreboard. If they continue clicking, they should be able to close this one out. Period three is underway. With Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmer. Great stick. No chance on that pass. Muscled long to Brody. Did not go very well that time. Loose puck. It is a hooking call on this play. A restraining foul, and the arm of the referee is hot. Calgary's roster goes down by one here. At least briefly, a minor penalty for hooking. The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. This power play has to find a way to get more people to the net. Eddie, I'm with you on that. Power play beginning. They've been on the power play before. It's not been very effective, but they get another one handed to them here. Pass cut, strong play. Outstanding save off a chance. 
The Whalers skated up on the side. Slides it to the point. Ping pongs it ahead to Hoffman. Good save there. And he holds on and stops playing. Well, it looks like the shooter's just trying to get this puck on net. Routine stop for the goaltender, not much challenge. with a clean win on the draw. Calgary's in control as they travel up the wing. Loose puck due to the play by Larson. Slid to Marner. Smart recovery by Brody. Gives it to the point. Chip to Hamannick. Shoots. Great save at the edge of the crease. Great opportunity, better stop. The Whalers' power play let him down at a very important time. Good defensive play, loose puck though. Out to the half wall, setting it up. Really solid possession and pressure. Not done yet though, he scores! sure how he made that play from his knees. Oh, he tried to dance this one up with a glove stop, but he doesn't get it, and it's in the net. Just a hair under four minutes have gone by. Seattle's just enormous when it comes to the offense tonight. This will be one they'll enjoy for a long time. But Luce couldn't get through. Waits from the corner. Laid on to Ajo. And a save. Terrific face-off win, and that's one of many. Just a backhand. Lightning-like reflexes there. Great glove save. Nicely into the zone. Feeds the point. Cut his glove on it. Snapping a pass to Ajo. Let's it go. Terrific glove save. And yet again, here is Ray Ferraro. Gortz had a perfect passing night. He's had great vision. His passes have been on the tape, and he's really helped his team from a delivery standpoint. He has been spectacular, Ray. They win the draw. What next? Propelled to Lindholm. Skilled play by Fleury. Gains the zone. Such a good stick. That could have been held by a Canadian of the 70s. Walks the blue line. On to Fleury. And he gets it back. Kicked away. Back to the blue line. Fires in front. Oh, the pass just didn't work. Chips it back. Free puck off an offender. That roadblock was set up. Crosses that line. He takes that point pass. He scores! Slowing the momentum.
especially in the offensive zone. If you want to isolate a defender, you got to get people moving over to the puck carrier to give him more options. That's exactly what happened on this play. Yeah, shooters love to beat the goaltender up over the glove side, don't they, Edzo? The butterfly position covers the bottom of the net. Doesn't help him much here, though. Calgary's won that face-off. Smart recovery by Larson. Trying to go to Nordstrom. Mark Jankowski. Time of the goal. Nine minutes. Pass. That puck was obstructed by a screen. Pitching it to Gord. Brings it in for an attack. Collected by Hickey. Did not get anything up. Knocked off the puck. Puck is thrown to Hannafin. Shakes right through. Taken over again. Slid to Giordano. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. That puck hit him on the way to the net. Laid up that right side to Pearson. Shifts to the backhand and shoots. Nice save there. They're going to have to do better than that to beat him. Cut that pass in his own end. Moving it to Kachuk. Solid work there by Backlund. Couldn't get his way through. Big collision in open ice. That hit might rattle a few teeth. Say, he's in on an onside play. Two guys together with force, big force. Well, you can almost feel the frustration bubbling over here, Doc. He just flattened his man, maybe trying to turn something around in a positive nature on a night that has been pretty brutal. New Jersey's not a team to be taken lightly, Doc. They're up next on the schedule, and of course, we'll be calling all the action. Some great, exciting hockey games ahead. Calgary's got that face-off win. With a shot, he scores! That's two unanswered goals! time and space there to let that wicked shot go from far out. That is a heavyweight shot. Saros is beat cleanly on the low stick side. He looks back at his net. He thought he had it all covered. Under three minutes remaining here in the third. The Flames have one here. They still trail in this game by three. He's got that pass and can look ahead. Assisted by number eight. Let's it go. Terrific save with no reaction time whatsoever. He's locked in now. Great save. And he dumps it in. The Flames hopefully shifting from defense to offense in their own end. Shoots. Great save in close. And there's another. We are in the last minute of regulation time. And he gets it back. Great block. Puck controlled now by the defense. Got it right back. Pass attempt to Hughes. Passed it ahead where there is some space. Intercepts that pass. Maybe he can generate something. That one is pointed to him. And up to Hughes. 26 to go. Sends it back the other way. Centering pass. Got to hurry. 20 to go. Neal slashed on the play, and there'll be a penalty coming up. Well, we are late in this contest, but when you see him, you call him. And that's what they've done here. Back in the era of wood sticks, this would really hurt. That's a slash. Off work. 
Seattle's gotten it back out. They check the clock, get ready to defend. Picks it up in his own end. And now it's directed to Goudreau. Snaps a wrister. A brilliant save at the horn. The game is over. Seattle's recorded a victory, and so the chain gets bigger. With that win, Doc, they found themselves with a tidy streak intact. The wins just keep on coming. That's it for another great night at a hockey rink. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good evening, everyone. <laughs>